Uh, video, why is my Hercules camera so dark? I've got every light on. Oh, beautiful. Short. <laughs> Easy, buddy. Take small bites. Looks like brunch for the fish. It is a sure feast. It does. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, Liam Antrim at the sanctuary just sent a message saying, great video. That was a really nice video of that uh, swarming there and the fish eating the feeding on it. Yeah, again, we're looking at some copper rockfish. I think there are a couple of yellowtails mixed in there feeding on the school of krill. Question, were those uh, euphasids and, and canary rockfish? Is it, yeah, uh, yeah those, those look like euphasids like to me. Like three zero zero. The ship move is yes. It's gonna have them just north of where uh, we want her to be. Okay. There's something, something ahead with a big shadow in front of it. Looks like yeah, a boulder. Yeah. That's what I was shooting for. Be interesting to see the scale on that anemone. You're right. I say pretty big, but really, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> they can't grow really large. I think I mentioned earlier, over a meter tall. Are you serious? Is that a, a Different kind of uh, sea cucumber there. Uh, that I, think we've seen. I think that's still a California sea cucumber, just a different color variant. So that's a good. How tall would you say that is? 50 centimeters. Yeah, easy, easily half a meter tall. Ah, uh, that sea cucumber was a Peristichopus, which apparently is commonly confused with the California sea cucumber, but they have those distinct spots. And they're often found in protected areas. Bridge, Nav. Thanks for your questions for our listeners out there. And thanks for tuning in to Nautilus Live as we are exploring this area of the Quinault Canyon, just off the west coast of Washington State. We're in the Olympic National Marine Sanctuary. And we're completing our visual survey as well as collecting samples, geologic and biological samples of the area, really trying to characterize this ecosystem. So far we've seen all kinds of diverse life, like the rockfish swimming into view here. You can see a sea cucumber, anemones attached to the rocks, and all kinds of encrusting organisms on the rocks themselves. And we are about 170 meters below the surface, exploring the Quinault Canyon area. That, you bet. A lot of polychaetes. Ooh, it's oh, shrimp. That's beautiful. Lots oh, of polychaetes. Beautiful image of an anatomy there. It's beautiful. Yeah, and you can see the shrimp right there. You can also see the feeding appendages of the polychaete sticking out. I believe that particular shrimp is commensal with the species of anemone. Yeah, I was going to say, is that that's not a candy stripe, is it? It is. It is. OK, so they only typically live on these anemones. <laughs> it's a beautiful anemone. Yeah, I think we can move on. Ah, oh, some copper rockfish. Copper rockfish. Is yeah, it looks anemone? like a pair of Bridge, anemones. Huh? Oh, yeah, two sides. Um, could be swimming anemones. I'm not totally sure from here. Very pretty. There's also a nudibranch on the lower left side. That's a leopard dorid of the anemone. Sorry, not of the screen. <laughs> and they actually, I believe, feed on anemones. They can steal their nematocysts. And actually, I don't think this one actually steals the nematocysts. There's a different kind of sea slug that does that. Yeah, the stinging cells. Some of, yeah. So some of the sea slugs, not this particular dorid, but some of them will actually use the. Uh, nematocysts or stinging cells into, and integrate it into their own cells. So they in turn become kind of venomous. A lot of tube worms with their feeding appendages out. Beautiful. Some more zoanthids back then. Are those those white ones? Yep. Or lighter colored ones. What is zoom in, Dave? Zooming. Smile. <laughs> Moment of fame. <laughs> You're going out to the world, Lincoln. <laughs> That's it. Okay, what's off? Oh, there's a skate, yes. That's a skate. Oh, yeah. Visible to the right. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nicely camouflaged, blend yeah. in with the sand. 
Got a fish ID here, book here in front of me, and it looks like that's a broad skate. And it's looking at us. <laughs> they never look very pleased. <laughs> so can you tell if that's a right or a left eye, Dave? I'm more interested in the focus, but I'm looking at uh, right eye, I believe. That's right. Yeah, super articulated eyes. That's right. What's amazing is that left eye actually has to migrate all the way from the other side right. as it transitions to becoming from a vertical fish to a flat fish. Right. You did. Otherwise, it's mud in your eye. That's right. Oh, what's in there? Ooh. Yeah, can we zoom in on that? Yeah, video zoom in there. It's an octopus. Oh, oh. oh. wow. Cool. Pull out a bit, video. Sure. That's good. Oh, fantastic. Uh-oh, he knows he's been spotted. <laughs> Camera shy. It's got a nice little home there. <laughs>